Hi everybody, my name is Diana from Diana's World of Fixing Things and I'm here in my garage. I have a, an awesome garage uh, to work on cars and that's what I've been doing lately. Uh, I haven't posted any new videos on my channel but uh, I think I'm going to start posting now uh, from now on. And uh, so what I'm doing is I'm put, I removed my heads from my Subaru and uh, I'm putting them back in. I'm not sure if they're gonna work, if the car's gonna start, but I'm taking it little by little and uh, you guys are gonna go with me to, to see if I can achieve the goal of uh, getting the heads back on and putting everything together, the timing belt. I replaced the water pump and um, a few other stuff. Uh, I'm gonna, change all the pulleys on the engine and it has new head gaskets and uh, so I we've already done or I've already done the right side I want to do the left side and I'll show you guys what I'm using as instruction I'm not using uh, all data or all data or anything like that I mean I actually bought the manuals the service manuals for this vehicle. It's 2003 Forester. Um, so, uh, let's see how you guys like it. I'm not very good at taking videos and talking at the same time, so a lot of the stuff is going to be narrated, and I'm going to shoot video and pictures and see what you guys think, okay? So, let's see. <laughs> let's see what happens. Okay, so this is the manual we're going to use, and this is the 2003 Subaru Forester. We're going to install the left head, and we're going to torque it, torque the bolts, the six bolts, and we're going to go step by step. The socket we're going to use, it's a 14 millimeter 12 hex socket. and just it's a brand new water pump from the dealer and i installed it followed it followed the manual and i so anyway we're going to torque it when we're ready to go and i soaked the bolts in this oil on the threads on the washer like the instructions said and i put it on i put it in this uh tool tray and then this is the picture of how to torque it in the manual this is also what I bought. The mini palm ratchet wrench came really handy so I could fit in there. Uh, it, it was kind of tight. And then I wrote the instructions on a piece of paper so I can have it in front of me and not have the manual and get it all dirty. So the dirt you see on the manual, it already came like that, I guess. You know, it's, it was used and I got it on, I believe, eBay. And then this is my heat pump in my garage, my TV, and you can see the old gasket head gaskets on that board and I saved all the old stuff those are the the library the service manuals for the Subaru so if you guys want to follow me on my adventure to see if this is a success or a fail subscribe and press the notification bell and like the video if you like it and we'll see we'll see if I can start this car uh, if it's a success or a total fail. I hope it's a success, but we'll see um, What we can do together. Okay, if you guys have any comments just comment below and let me know if I'm doing this right If you guys know what you're doing, <laughs> okay, because I don't know if I do but we'll see Talk to you guys later. See you on the next one